How's it going everyone? It's Artifacts. I've got a tennis ball and some ginger tea this morning, so that's very exciting, isn't it? Today we're going to look at this new bass sound I made in Vital. Let's listen to the original patch and then the post-processed version. So this is the original. <laughs> And now we shall listen to the final version. Now this final version with all the post-processing on is a Patreon exclusive tutorial, kind of like a part two. So definitely head over to Patreon to check that out. It's gonna be uploaded today as well. But today we're gonna to get into this vital patch and I'm gonna show you how I made it. And yeah, let's dive straight in. So it's quite an interesting patch I made this morning and I didn't really have a plan in mind. I was just going with the flow and we're gonna look at the, it's the filters that are really giving it this cool movement and the sort of timing that I've used on them. So let's turn off all the effects and we'll quickly dive into the oscillators. I started with this, one of these random ones called Thank You False Noise. And you know, that that's what it is on its own. Then with this in harmonic uh, stretch mode, and we just map that to an LFO. So we get this kind of wow movement, which is quite nice. Pretty simple. And then that just gets frequency modulated by oscillator two, which is, is just the, Initial saw, saw wave preset, um, put on the, the unison detune to make, make it wide, obviously. And then with this high pass mode, yeah, we're just basically high passing it and getting these resonances, which we're mapping to also this LFO2 here, which is just a slow up and down, easy stuff. All right, I take the level back down because we're just modulating it in. And now we have the, the combination of the two and how they work together because we've turned up the frequency modulation here. A couple of other cool things to note is the pitching here, this is the tuning. And uh, this is the very like small adjustments in pitch. And I've just gone a little bit up and a little, little bit down on the other one just to make it so it's not completely 100% in key, just gives it a bit more of a natural kind of feel. And then number three, we are going into these basic shapes. It's a square wave. Also been unison detuned, just with two voices this time, so it's just the sides. So this is just like a super, super stereo layer. And that's going to be modulated by also the sampled white noise in the ring modulation sample here, something I often do. I've left the level up of the noise as well this time because it kind of sounds nice together. So this kind of grittiness, you know? Putting that back in here and all together. We've got our basis for the sound now, which is like a lot of harmonics, uh, some kind of distortion, some no noise, and yeah, it's just generally a lot of harmonics to play with, which is important that we have that when we go into filtering it now, because we've got things to actually filter out and we can start to create some cool movements and grooves. So what I've done is I just started with, uh, very simply, a low pass filter and we're just mapping it the cutoff to this LFO3 here which is going at one quarter notes and it's also at a dotted tempo so it gives a bit of a groove already yeah to, to further enhance the groove what I've then done is I've gone to put the mix to 50% and then we also put the same LFO3 onto the mix so it's kind of going the other way so so we have a sort of combination of the low pass movement of the filter and then a combination of the original sound without the filter like coming back in and they kind of work together so if you listen so they kind of go at sort of an opposite timing so it's like dum -wum -wum -dum -wum -wum. So that already gives us a little bit more of an interesting groove. And now we're going to take this one step further and introduce the second filter. All of these filters are, are just filtering everything in the oscillators. And this second one here is also got filter one turned on. So it's, it's coming in from filter one. And you can see the difference here. 
th things start to get a lot louder and a lot more interesting and that's because we're using this comb filter here and we're again we are mapping the LFO to the cutoff here so you can see it really goes up and down a lot and the same with the mix it's, good, it's doing the same thing that we did before so we've got that kind of double movement going on so now we've got a really like kind of dynamic filtered bass all that's left to do is chuck on a bit of chorus just to make it a little bit sort of wider uh, distort it a little bit just to like glue everything together and then some reverb on the end just to give it that natural room sound maybe take that down a little bit and yeah we end up with this So I'm going to name this the Thank You Reese, and this preset will also straight away be available on my Patreon if you want to play with it. And yeah, there also there will be this video where I show you how I went from that to create this bass line, which is sort of a lot more dynamic uh, by bouncing stuff to audio and which kind of specific effects I use and in which order I do things to get this final result. <laughs> a lot nastier in my opinion but anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you learned a little bit more about vital and have a wicked day